Welcome back. We're the Bourbon Junkies. He's Dan. I'm Sean. Yeah. I wish you wouldn't. Yeah. Got a little bit of that new new. Oh. I love their bottle. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful. The court game in it. We got the uh, glass game. Restoration. Nope, that's the rye. Castling Keys. First bourbon release. It's just small batch bourbon. I nailed it. Do you want, do you want me to fill you in on their situation? Go ahead. Do you not know it? Okay. Castle and Key is a distillery that bought the old Taylor distillery. Buffalo Trace sued them. Yeah. <laughs> for owning it and saying that it was old Taylor on the bottles mm -hmm. because technically B.H. Right. Taylor is owned by Sazerac. Yeah. So, or Buffalo Trace or whoever, I don't know that part of it, but. Castle and Key is is operating. They own, I believe. Yeah. They own. They're operating on the old old Taylor Distillery, old yes. Castle Distillery. Castle and Key makes their own whiskey. Restoration Rye was their first release. So this is their first bourbon release. This was is four this years distilled old. under Marianne Barnes? Yes. And then she left. So this yes. is technically her distillate. Then? Yes. Okay. Yep. That's where I was wondering. Yep. That this was this was Marianne Barnes distillate. I did not give myself like any whiskey. I'm gonna try again. I don't like this okay. cork. It like oddly fits in there weird. Well, it's actually hollow. Yeah. Boom. That's twenty dollars. <laughs> but needless to say, so this this being okay. I, it's a special <laughs> episode we got today, guys. So this oh. being Castle and Key's first distillate of bourbon that they've released from their distillery. They released as a distillery. They released it in some places around Kentucky as well. I don't know how far it made it outside of Kentucky, but the thing I do know is. I would. People were ecstatic. Guess this is distilled in Kentucky. Really? You think it's nutty? Yeah, very. It's, not. it's like super dry peanuts. It just reminds me of Jim Beam. Which I is guess Kentucky. a little bit, yeah. It's mm -hmm. got that Heaven Hill vibe. Yeah. Well, Jim Beam and Heaven Hill are different distilleries, but we could just agree to I'm agree. just saying it has the same nuttiness as like when we call Beam and Heaven Hill nutty. True. You think this is like a turkey or? No. I'm just gonna name all the nutty biscuits. No, no, because no, it doesn't have cinnamon. That's true, it doesn't. So, um, real quick, because this is was this bottle was actually a gift to us. Gifted. Sir, the angel of the night himself. I was gonna say you're gonna re use his real name or starts with an R. I okay, I know his real name. I don't know if he wants to say his real name. The Night Angel. Yeah. That's that's who gave it to us. Also, R, it rhymes with Thank you, buddy. He actually went and waited in line and got this and got it signed. Yes. Which is super cool. So thank you, buddy, Everybody for doing this. That. Um, I believe that this is around sixty bucks. Okay. So keep that in mind. Now, also keep in mind, first this ever released. It's at least twenty five of the cost. And yeah, this this get up right yeah. here. The get up. This get up. Well, the you got, packaging. Well, well, you got a fiddly. You got an embosser. You got yeah. a, a neck, to a little choker, right? Yeah. Choke me, daddy. Yeah. And then you, <laughs> and then you got this beautiful sundial cork, which I'm madly uh -huh. in love with. Yeah. Madly in love. I, it's a pretty it, package. It's beautiful packaging and a great label as well. Probably, this reminds me. What's this? Remind it's you it's about? a little sweet, but it is a little nutty. I think the nuttiness it would be. We're probably mistaking nuttiness for grain. For there is a Play-Doh note in there. I think that it's actually more of like a like a cereal like a corn dust Ford. Um, yeah. Dump a bag of feed. In, yep, yep, and yep, if yep. you stuck your head in the thing, I think that's the, the trough. That's no, you. no. Your head first feeding trough. That's how you When work. I used to have chickens, when I would dump chicken feed into a big plastic giant trash can for them, <laughs> because that's what I would scoop they it out well of. They were well raised, yeah, heard. I would scoop it out of there, and when you would dump the bag, you get the dust. It smells like the dust. Sean and I have started to disagree on some things as of late that are age inflicted, we'll call it. Um, oh, I'm going to... That's only, do you know the proof on that? 96. Not even close, it's 98. So anyways. Um, <laughs> What's funny is I really don't know, that was a guess. Yeah, it's 98 proof. So, um, in the bottle for an hour, couldn't tell you. I like the proof. The, I don't know how I feel about that one. The grain notes are really forward. There's a lot of like sweet cornbread. Um, Heavy on the corn. Yeah. Um, like raw corn. Not raw corn, it's sweet. It's like sweet corn. It's it's like sweet buttered corn. Oh buddy, I don't enjoy that. You don't like it? No. You didn't like Restoration Rye either. No. Um, um that that's very youthy and it is sharp. It tastes it tastes craft -esque. Mid palate, just coming in hot. You know what I mean? Like I'm gonna give it a second drink. 
But before I do that, let's take a moment to talk about the sponsor of today's video. Yeah. A little into the AM action. Yeah. Uh, I was actually gonna go grab a shirt and then I realized I'm wearing one of their hoodies and Dan just happened to be wearing a basic. I literally looked down, I was like, oh, good news. Works out well. And if you need a hat cause you just got a bad haircut, they have hats at intotheam.com. And you're not gonna wear it? Anything Into but the that. AM. We owe them money for Into running this ad now. <laughs> so they got hats as Dan's showing you now. They they got basic tees, they've got hoodies, they've got our hoodies. They've got our t-shirts too, coming in uh, April. Don't worry about that. Um, they got everything you want, underwear, joggers, shorts. Oh, I can't wait. I'm gonna wear those shorts so much. It's starting to get warm in Michigan again. Check, Check it out. out, link below. Get you 10% off site wide. Support the people supporting us and you won't be disappointed in what you get. Back to the video. Sure, everybody. So the story behind Castle Heat, very cool. Now, the interesting thing that we don't actually know the reason of, at least Sean and I don't, is Marianne Barnes left when their whiskey hit about four, four years old. Yeah. What's interesting is Marianne Barnes was the one that distilled it, helped start that distillery back up. And then pieced out Girl Scout. When the product was in theory about ready to be sold. Yeah. So that's very weird. Maybe she just wanted to do startup work. She either, either it's definitely possible that as a consultant. Or that was her contract. They came in, they said, hey, get you, get our stuff to four years mm -hmm. or whatever. And then sure. we'll, we'll part ways. So here's, and this is the, like, this is just a bunch of Sean and I wondering why and talking maybe why. In my head, if I was good at something, um, which she obviously, obviously very highly respected yes. person in the industry. If I'm good at something and I help a startup, I'd love to, I think I'd like see to it see it through, right? Yeah. Like it's four, we can sell it, let's see what everybody thinks. In my head, it's kind of weird that when your baby turns old enough to like be able to do the thing that it was made for, that you kind of jet. Now, she might've had a different offer. Like you said, she may have just yeah. been a consultant to get it going, yeah. get it on its feet. Um, but listen, Blue Run contract distills here. I personally like Blue Run a lot. I've never tasted anything they put out that tastes like that. Me neither. That's what I was gonna say. This is honeyed cereal um, oats, grains, sorry, grain, cereal grains. It's um, very grainy. It, it, it's, and I'm starting to weirdly like some of those like youthy grainy notes, but this is um, overwhelmed with them, I guess. I'd I say. feel like you took some whiskey, you added it to a bowl, you threw in some like Cheerios, mm -hmm. a little bit of Play-Doh, I'd say half, no Play-Doh, half, half Honey Nut Cheerios. And uh, part of a green apple skin. Yeah. And then you oh, mash okay, that up. Oh, okay, I like up. that. Like the tiny yeah, tart? Yeah, and it's a little tart, little I like sharp. That. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's just, it's, the Play-Doh note's gone away for me a bit more. I've yeah. gotten used to the maltiness of a little yes. bit. Yes, um, which is seemingly what it is. I think it's malt that you But it is a little sharp. It definitely tastes young. Yeah. I'm not super sold on it. Um, here's the thing. I, I keep drinking it though. It'll be, I'm more than happy to follow this journey as 100%. it gets older, which is the same reason I like Blue Run is I can't wait to see like where that goes and what happens with it as it ages and whatnot. But um, if this were 60 and Blue Run were 80, cause the high rye Blue Run, the high rye bourbon Blue Runs you can find for 80 in Kentucky. Yeah. And this is 60 in Kentucky. I'm gonna buy the Blue Run for 80. Uh, grade at 60. Let's see. C minus. Yeah, I, I think it's. I more, think it's worth a try. Um, sure. It might be some people's jam, um, but maybe it's you know kind of support the people, get that, it going to a I farther place. I think it's more of that. <laughs> no. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's great. I think it's kind of that middle of the road for their first distillate they've ever put out. We've had just so much worse, yeah. worse whiskey. Um, but yeah, we're the bourbon junkies. Like, comment, subscribe. We never said that. Thank you, Sir Night Angel. Check out the boxes around us. Hey, also, yeah, also, the, we know that these are in frame, but this is the room that we have here, so.